In the last few videos, we covered the different types of validators, including how to create them and examples of how to use them. So we thought we'd return to some of those examples and add additional functionality by making use of a handful of extension functions. We'll take a look at with fix, with metadata, with button, with context click, and with scene GUI. If you're looking for one extension function in particular, make sure to check the timestamps below. The with fix extension function, as the name suggests, allows us to provide a known fix for a particular problem. For example, in our value validator video, we looked at validating strings to ensure that a given word is capitalized throughout the project. This issue really only has one solution, so it's easy to provide a fix. We do it by adding with fix as a chain function to our result. There are a handful of overloads, but for our example, we'll provide an action that does the actual fixing. In our case, simply replacing the lowercase word with a properly capitalized word. When you're back in Unity, an option to automatically fix the issue will show up in the validator window when the issue has been selected. The function with metadata allows us to display extra data in the validator window that might be helpful when resolving a detected issue. In our attribute validator video, we created a sprite size attribute and corresponding validator that checks the size of a sprite. While the validator message gives us some information, we could provide more such as the name, height, and width of the sprite with metadata. We can do this by adding the with metadata function, then providing a label for our data, followed by the data object itself. If we want to provide multiple bits of data, we can chain multiple with metadata functions. The with button allows us to add a button to the validator window when a given validation result is selected. One use of buttons could be to provide multiple fixes or multiple actions when a given issue is detected. For example, in our iCell validator video, we had an enemy spawner that had a spawn delay that needed to be greater than zero. We could add buttons that quickly set the time to particular values. All we need to do is add the with button extension to our results, then provide a label for the button and an action to invoke when the button is pressed. And we can do this multiple times to provide multiple presets for the time delay. The with context click function allows us to add functionality to the context menu of a particular validation result. Right clicking on the validation result in the validator window will bring up the context menu. For example, in our value validator video, we checked that the value of a stat type had been set. Using with context click, we could allow the designer to choose one of several default settings for a given stat. To do this, we can add the with context click extension function to our result, providing a descriptor and an action to invoke. Notice that by setting both the stat type and the stat value, we have likely resolved more than one validator issue with a single click. The with scene GUI function allows us to invoke an action every time the scene GUI is redrawn, which can be used for many purposes, but one of those may be to draw gizmos or handles in the scene to help resolve the issue detected by the validator. In our root object validator video, we created a nav mesh agent validator to check if the nav agent was on a nav mesh. Using with scene GUI, we could give the level designer a quick hint as to the nearest point on the nav mesh by drawing a sphere at the point and a line connecting the nav agent to the sphere. We can do this by adding the with scene GUI function to our result and providing an action that will draw the corresponding gizmos. Odin validator extension functions allow you to further customize validators, making them easier to use and better integrating into your project's workflow.